for those of you that um, that matters or not, if you use the link that I sent you, uh, you are showing up in Zoom as Arturo Ortega. Congratulations. Uh, just want you to know that if you use my link, that's what it's going to say. It's very easy to change your name. Uh, you can just hover, I believe, a, a hover on your picture. Then you'll get a little three dots. And I think right there you can rename yourself um, if that is important to you. Just want you to just want you to know. All right, good afternoon, everyone. Welcome to February 3rd. Welcome to our fifth meeting of our school reorganization team. Um, I can't believe it's already meeting number five, uh, but thank you for uh, being on this journey with us uh, as we uh, address school reorganization in Azusa Unified School District. Uh, all of you uh, received an email uh, from, uh, from me uh, letting you know uh, that today we are going to be um, participating in, um, in, a, in a protocol uh, called the LBLB uh, protocol. Uh, we're going to walk you through each step of the way um, as, we, as we go through this protocol. Um, like always, uh, these, these videos are being recorded, uh, live streamed, and they're going to be eventually on our website, along with all of the handouts, the copy of the protocol, everything uh, that, we, that we provide for you uh, will be there and archived there uh, as well. Um, so the way we're going to begin is we're going to give you some uninterrupted think time for you to either on this graphic organizer or your own piece of paper or your own graphic organizer or however it is that you would like to do, you're gonna be spending some time writing out what are called LBLB statements. Okay, you can write one, you can write 10, you can write 100. This is, this is up to you. This is a way for you to capture and organize uh, your, your thoughts. These LBLB statements are meant to focus your attention on a particular model or particular models that are that you like that are attractive to you lbl lblb statements are not the opposite of that we are not writing things we don't like about a model today's today's protocol is going to be focusing on the things that you like the things that you appreciate the things that that are are calling to you uh, that are speaking to you that are exciting you and the reason they are called lblb is because when you are writing down your thoughts and capturing your thoughts you're going to capture them in two ways one of two ways or both ways number one you're going to have a like because statement so you're going to say something like I like model one because it offers parents a choice between a traditional elementary school and a TK-8 school. That's an example, and that is in your protocol. The examples are in your protocols. That's an example of a like because sentence. Or you might have a like but. So maybe you do like model one, and that is what you're liking. But maybe your sentence is, I like model one, but suggest that it should only be one high school. 
but your focus is still on what you like about that particular model. In the protocol, we have provided some non-examples. So saying, um, I like model one because model two is horrible, would be unacceptable because you are trying to sneak in something that you don't like about a particular model. And today's focus is focus, trying to focus our attention on the things that you like. And again, maybe there's something about a model that you really, really like, but only if, if this would happen. We want to capture those too. You're, you're communicating to us, hey, I like this, but I prefer that it would only be six schools or whatever that may be, okay? Again, there, there is no magic number. You can have as many uh, as you want. Uh, I have my timer here. We are going to have, if you've done it, if you've already done this, then take this time to review, uh, take this time to do whatever you need to do. If you haven't done this, take this time to try to gather your thoughts on paper of uh, how this is going to go. You are going to have roughly nine whole minutes to, to, to think about this and get your thoughts together. This is think time, this is silent time, this is individual time. Around five minutes after, I'm gonna check in with you. And if we still have people working, awesome. We have until 5.45. So uh, for now, I'm going to uh, stop talking, enjoy your quiet time, and we'll see you, and we'll, we'll hear from you in about nine minutes. Thank you. Mr. Ortega, I have a question. Yes. Uh, is there a way to see all the models side by side? Like a, a list maybe, or a? that we can look at? Give me one um, second, I'll work side on that by right side, I'm not, but what I could do, uh, unless Natasha, you have that. I know we have the detail one that we can post real, real quick. Um, That's fine. Okay. I did, I was able to see the last three, but I didn't, the last three models in our emails, but I couldn't find the first two. Okay. Or one, how many? Thank you. No worries, I'll, I'll post that or uh, in the chat. I have it here. Do you have it, Natasha, or do you, do you want me to post it? Go ahead and post it, boss. I have okay. to look for it. Oops. You get that, Miss Kimberly? Yes, thank you so much.
This is the halfway mark. Just checking in. Give me a thumbs up if you are still that you still thumbs up means I still need more time. Okay, perfect. Perfect. We have about three and a half more minutes. Coming down to our last 15 seconds, you can start um, and we're gonna we're gonna move on to the next steps. All right. Thank you. I saw a lot of intense thinking and working uh, so i appreciate the thought that's going into uh that's going into this uh what we're going to do now is uh we're going to move in to start having folks share their lb lb statements and the way we're going to do that is we're going to do it by group so uh, as a reminder Right, we have, uh, we are comprised of five groups. We have uh, our teacher group, our classified group, we have our elementary parent group, we have our secondary parent group, and we have our administrative group. In a second, I'm going to get this nice little guy right here, and I'm going to pull out those groups at random uh, to to uh, 
to um, see what order we're going to be doing that. Once we pull out the groups and we know which order, when it's time for that group to go, the other four groups are in listen mode, right? You are listening to this other group and you're listening to their LB, LB statements. At no point in time will the other four groups be allowed to unmute themselves and ask a question or um, provide a counter argument or a high five like this is this group's uninterrupted time to share their LB LB statements. Number two, just because you are a group does not mean that everyone has to have the same LB LB statements. It is okay that within a group, there are differing opinions. That's perfectly fine. That's, that's, that's okay. And there is nothing to say that you individually have to like only one model. You can like two, you can like three, you can like all four. It is okay. Every LB, LB statement that is shared today is 100% true. And the reason it's 100% true is because these are opinions. These are my thoughts. And so those can, those can be wrong. And we just want to listen uh, and, and accept your LB, LB statements uh, for what they are. Each group is going to have a maximum of 10 minutes, but that doesn't mean that we need to take all 10 minutes. If after seven minutes that the people in that group are done, then we'll move on to the next group, okay? Questions before I start drawing names. And again, I'll walk you through it as we go. All right, kicking us off tonight are, oh no, I was gonna put tape on this. Secondary parents. So secondary parents, that's gonna be the first group uh, that's going to go. That group is going to be followed by CSEA. So CSEA will go second. That group is going to be followed by Admin. That will be followed by elementary parents. And so if we did this right, I will bet a whopping $1 that this one should say AEA or teachers. AEA. So AEA will bring us uh, will bring us home. All right, so with that being said, I am going to put a 10 minute timer on the clock. Uh, there is going to be no like first, second, or third, you're going to unmute yourself and you're going to offer up uh, your LB, LB statement or LB, LB statements. Uh, and everyone uh, should have an opportunity to do that. Uh, yes, Ms. Jones. Uh, Leslie Jones, no? You got a question? 
Okay. I saw her raise her hand, so. Oh. She's in the chat. There's a question. She's asking how she unmutes herself. Oh, I think she just figured it out. All okay, right. There we go. <laughs> okay. All right. I'll start right, off. So, so let me start the timer. This group's time starts now. All right. I like model one because it combines all the middle schools. Um, into one large middle school, allowing for more students, which allows for more class offerings. Um, I also like model four, but I worry about having sixth graders on the high school campus. Maybe a sixth through 12th grade option could be looked at. Um, it, I like that it gives the middle school students opportunities to take advanced classes if they qualify. I like that it gives them access to the sports fields. I like model four, but I worry about the TK8 in this model not being a viable parent choice for parents of middle school students. I like model three, but it contains the most schools. I worry that our, um, the fact that our students will be spread thin across the district. Um, I like the TK8 model, but I'm concerned about the self-contained classes. Um, I, have, um, I have seen what Ellington started off as and what it could be and what it currently is. Ms. Jones. Um, yes. Uh, may I ask you to start that statement with I like model and then give us the number? Oh, yes. Okay. Um, they all contain TK8s. Um, so I like all the models that contain the TK8, but I am concerned about the self-contained classes. Um, I have seen what Ellington started off as and could be and is currently. Um, I like model two because the district would be more focused on the TK school, TK8 schools than they have in the past. The schools could have a sense of um, equity. Um, I like model three, um, but it contains the most schools. Oh, I already said that one. Um, I like model three, but I personally think that the TK8 should be eliminated. The two middle schools combined. However, it still does not address the declining enrollment of our high schools. Um, I like all of the models that include the implementation plan um, of the models, um, but I am concerned that the five-year transition plan is too long. Could we look at a two to three-year transitional plan? And I'll pass the time to other parents. Thank you. Someone else who ha who, who's in the secondary parent group. Okay, okay. Ms. Rico? I like model three uh, because it keeps middle schools. Uh, I like model three, but I think that we should eliminate the K through eight, make it into a TK through five. Um, also uh, keep only one high school. Uh, I like uh, model three, but I think that the transition should be two or three years instead of five. Um, and I also like model four, but prefer to have uh, the, the Sixth graders, um, not you know, make it a seven to twelve instead of a six to twelve. Thank you, Ms. Rico. Another parent from the secondary group. I can go. Thank you. Um, I just have one really. I like model three, but I think it would be more cost effective and better for the students to have one high school and maybe one middle school and keep the sixth graders down at the elementary level. Thank you. Another one of our parents from uh, the secondary group. I'll do one more. I like model one, um, the fact that it has the one traditional middle school, um, but I would eliminate all of the TK-8s and just do um, four or five TK through fives and combine the two high schools. Thank you. Uh, do we have uh, Sofia uh, Verdusco uh, with us in the, in the room? How about um, Miss Virginia Batista? Yeah, 
Yes, I'm here. Would you like to share any LBLBs? Oh, I'm sorry, I forgot it was at the high school. I thought it was at the elementary. Okay, now I did like model three because it has a two traditional six to eight, but I just, I'm not sure about, um, I like it, but I'm still kind of worried about the, um, the middle school getting enough um, um, education in the classroom, you know, the self-contained classroom. And I like the model too, because the schools are more equitable. There's five TK through eight and only two high school. But again, I'm worried about, will the middle schoolers be prepared to go into high school and changing schedules and moving about? Thank you. Mm -hmm. Is Miss Luce Fields with us tonight? Okay, any other parent from the secondary group uh, that has anything else to contribute or another LBLB statement? All right, well, thank you. Thank you for that awesome launch. Uh, parents of secondary students, uh, we appreciate your LBLB statements. Uh, very thoughtful, thank you. All right, we are going to reset the timer here. Let me put a fresh new 10 minutes. And we are going to now transition to CSEA. Again, every all the other four groups are, are in listen mode um, as we listen to their LB, LB statement or statements. Your 10 minutes starts now. Okay, I thought Patricia was going first, but I, I can go first. Um, I like model three because it offers the more traditional um, uh, choices. Um, I wouldn't want to have like just one high school because I think that would um, cause us to lose students and it defeat the purpose. Um, and, but also I have a concern that right now, and this is kind of adding to it, that maybe we should actually you know, postpone it a year until right in the middle of the pandemic that maybe is not the best time to start thinking about closing schools rather than we should start to just worry about getting the kids back in school. So that's my opinion. Thank you. I like model three because it does offer more choices and it maintains the middle school, um, but I, at this time, um, the same, I would like to table it due to the recent uh, pandemic. We need to focus on supporting our students, our community, our parents and our staff and be available and ready for them. So I like model three also because it does give us that traditional um, transition for our students um, and it gives choices. Um, I also too feel that the timing is um, not right to be able to um, make these hard decisions. Um, I'm, we're looking more at the you know, social and emotional needs of our students and to impose another change in their lives that they've already encountered um, would be another hardship for them. Um, so I too also, along with my CSCA fellow CSCA um, brother, sisters and brothers, I uh, believe that we should table this. Okay. Ms. Loera? Um, I also, I agreed with them. I, um, I like the Model 3. It does offer more choices to the parents. My, I do have a concern, though, of only having one high school. Um, there's so much um, um, pride in, the high, in each high school each high school has their pride and they're so um, driven and to take that away and have like, have them pick it. They almost, it's almost like it would, the kids would have to choose a high school 
And um, I feel that that would probably be really hard on, on the kids, on the students, as far as their emotional being. Um, I feel, I do feel we need to probably table this as well, um, at least for another year. Um, the kids are barely going to be returning to their schools. And then to have to realize that they have to be changing schools or splitting up families or because they, they are um, certain um, the programs aren't available or um, that they actually leave our district as well because um, a, because they, we don't offer um, what their students are needing or what they're wanting. So the, I agree with, with them. So that's mine. Other LB LB statements from CSEA. No, okay. Well, thank you, CSEA. I'm going to reset the clock here. Um, if I'm not mistaken, I think ad. Let me make sure. Yes, admin is next. Um, I like because. I like, but, all right, your 10 minutes starts now. All right, I will go first. Um, I like model three because it provides parents options similar to what we currently offer. I like model three because it offers choice in traditional middle school programs. I like model three, but suggest having one high school and one middle school to maximize capacity. I like model three, but suggest five traditional elementary TK6 since we just added sixth grade to our campus this year. I like model three, but suggest eliminating the TK8 and making it a TK5 or TK6, like the rest of the, our elementary school. Thank you. And I will continue. Uh, I like model three because it includes a dual immersion option at a traditional middle school. Uh, I like model three because uh, less schools are affected during the gradual transition. I like model three because it allows middle school students to mature before entering high school. Uh, I like model three because it gives students more opportunities for traditional electives. Uh, I like model three, but students in schools six and seven should also have the opportunity to participate in STEM. Thank you. I can go ahead and go next. I like model one and three because they offer the most student and parent academic options in a secondary setting. Um, I like model three, uh, but would like to investigate one high school. I like model four, but would prefer um, a 612 versus a 712, increasing the probability that students will stay in AUSD. Um, I like models one, three, and four, but would like to investigate and consider the 0.5 AP and counseling ratio that are not aligned with any recommended recommendations from any of the governing boards to be staffed uh, appropriately. And that's all I have. All right. Um, I like model four because it helps secondary schools develop student readiness and academic subjects with uh, maybe more single subject teachers, uh, more, op more opportunity for vertical articulation between middle school to high school. Also, we maximize the use of the newly renovated athletic facilities at AHS and GHS. Um, the elective offerings at middle school might be probably would be richer given access to more teachers at two sites. And finally, model four, because we could concentrate resources for stronger art and music programs at the sites. And then I like model four, but I think it should be seven to 12, like other schools in LA County that have seven to 12 uh, possibilities. Uh, but we would require lots of attention to scheduling logistics and student movement at the sites. But for model four, we may need to consider bell schedules and how many periods a day are offered.
Admin, there's still time on the clock. Uh, is there anyone else from the admin team uh, that has another LBL statement that they would like to share? Okay. We're gonna reset the clock here, the timer, I'm sorry, uh, to 10 minutes. Um, we are moving on to parents of elementary students. Again, I like this model because I like this model, but elementary parents, your 10 minutes starts now. I'm happy to start. So I like model one because it offers the option for a traditional elementary and middle school. I like models one, three, and four, but would like to see them phased in over two to three years instead of five. I like model three because it offers the most schools out of all the models. I like model three because it keeps the most traditional elementary and middle schools. I like model four because it keeps uh, the traditional elementaries. I like model four because it offers sixth through eighth graders an opportunity for richer electives and or after school activities and sports. Um, I like model one, but would like to see the dual immersion included in the traditional middle school as well. I like model three, but suggest that it should only have one high school. I like, oh, the same goes for model one as well. I like model one, but would like to see only one high school. I like model three, but suggest moving the sixth graders um, back into the elementary school in the 21-22 year. Um, I like model four, but prefer to see a seven through 12 instead of a six through 12. Uh, and I like model three, but I wonder about the possibility of having one middle school, um, if one high school, um, middle school at the, at the high school instead. And that's it. Thank you. Um, I'll go next. I, I like two models. Um, the first one I like is model four, the six through 12. Um, I like model uh, four, but I'm concerned about logistics, about the, that large student body being divided spatially with the six through eight Co cohorts and the nine through 12 cohorts being able to operate somewhat autonomously. Um, if it's not possible to achieve that on a campus, I would support um, changing the model to a six, um, keeping the sixth graders at the elementary school campus and changing it to a seven through 12th model. Um, what I like about model four is this model um, has a, a wealth of opportunity for programs and electives and investments made to the facility um, at these two uh, large campuses um, and that it concentrates the, the student body. Uh, the other model I like is model three, the all levels model. I like this model um, because it allows for um, traditional electives um, for the students with this all levels 2.0 model, uh, model three, I like a single rebranded high school um, set to a, a, a four year phase out allowing the ninth graders to graduate from their closing high school. Um, I also, um, sorry, I scribbled all over my notes. <laughs> um, I'd also like to consider um, the possibility within this uh, model three of not simply closing the other middle school, I mean, sorry, high school, but instead using that amazing uh, facility for a, um, a single middle school campus. Um, and that, so that's model three. Um, the two strengths I like, uh, the two things I, I really like about model uh, three, all levels, all levels model 2.0, sorry, I think of them more as the title. Um, one, that it maintains uh, the most elementary school campuses um, and that it is um, very similar to what we do now, which I think will be beneficial to a, a lot of parents to um, navigate the, the model because it's more, most like our current stu structure. Um, as a parent, I like proceeding with the reconfiguration and not um, tabling it. However, maybe this five-year time period seems a bit long. Maybe the first year or two we, we pause um, 
uh, decide on a plan, but sort of pause the moving the children around. Um, I definitely do not um, within the 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 two models that I like um, would not pref would not prefer to keep. I don't know how to say it correctly. Um, would like the sixth graders to promote uh, instead of being left alone at the campus, um, especially with uh, model three, they should promote to the middle school. And that's it. Thank you. A uh, parent of a uh, elementary uh, student that would like to go next. Buenas tardes. Hola. A mí me gusta el modelo, ah, bueno, yo sugiero el modelo número dos, que es, bueno, TK al ocho grados. Yo pienso que le da a los alumnos la posibilidad de tener un nivel en su formación académica superior porque van a mantener sus mismos compañeros, el mismo ambiente, sobre todo los maestros más capacitados que invierten más tiempo en educación de calidad porque son grupos eh, un tanto más reducidos y tienen más atención a ellos. Y así se puede manejar mejor el nivel académico para los niños y así se puede evitar también que los niños migren a otras escuelas de las ciudades eh, vecinas porque va a haber menos fracaso y abandono escolar. Esa es mi opinión. Gracias. Another elementary parent. I'm sorry, I'd also like to add that um, um, at, I like uh, models um, three, but Perhaps we could look at not, um, perhaps we could um, eliminate the TK-8. Do we have uh, Sonia Ramirez uh, with us today? Uh, do we have Kimberly Reels with us here today? Do we have Rina Galvez with us here today? Okay, uh, elementary parents, anyone else have an LBLB statement that they would like to add? All right, uh, I'm going to reset my clock, my timer. Uh, I'm going to put 10 minutes on here, and AEA is going to bring us home uh, with LBL, LB, LB statements, I like because or I like but. And your 10 minutes start now. We are going to round robin because we are teachers and we do that. Um, I like Model 3 because 67% of teachers prefer this configuration. Edna? I like model four, but suggested be TK6 instead of TK5, and the high schools be TK, TK I mean, the high schools be 712. Jen. Sorry about that. I like model four because 21% of teachers in Azusa think it is the one model that actually accomplishes the goal of filling all schools to maximum capacity. I like models three and four because students at middle school will get daily PE. I like model three because it most resembles our existing configuration, but with less sites. I like, I like model four. Oops, sorry, Edna, go ahead. I like model four because it facilitates vertical articulation between the junior high and the high school curriculum. I like model four because it preserves electives for middle school students. 
I like model three, but would like to see sixth grade stay at elementary school. I like model three because it maintains traditional junior high, it's the traditional junior high experience, which prepares students for high school while allowing for a TK-8 option for parents that still feel their child can benefit from a more elementary style setting. I like model four because it encourages middle school students to remain at high school if they start um, in middle school um, at the same site. I like models three and four because middle school students will get each of their subjects daily. I like model three, but would like to explore the consequences of one large middle school and one large high school. <clears throat> I like model four because it maintains the high, the uh, junior high experience while maximizing our modern, our most modernized facilities, which are the high schools. I like model four because it preserves the elementary environment, which allows in, uh, elementary schools to focus more on helping students attain basic skills for more advanced learning. I like model three, but I'm concerned about the um, plan not having appropriate counselor staffing to student ratio. I like model three, but would like to explore the establishment of counselor to student ratios, as well as resource teacher and assistant principal ratios. I like models three and four because they allow for teachers that specialize in certain subject areas, uh, specifically in the higher levels. I like Model 4 because it builds richer programs and vibrant communities throughout the district when our school sites are full and have many teachers to offer their talents to students. I like Models 3 and 4 because this will build the arts, STEM, and other programs at the high school level. I like Model 3 but would encourage a three-year phase-in plan. I like model four because it would strengthen our sports programs and clubs by having the junior high students feel vested in the high school that they are already a part of. I like model three, but would maximize capacity at all school sites with one seven, eight intermediate school and one high school. I like model three because there is more choice for parents with the most elementary schools. I like model three simply because it includes more traditional middle school options. And I also like model three because it allows for a dual immersion program at the middle school. Edna, are you done? She is. All right, I like model four because I think um, it would but I think a 712 model will be better for our students um, and for the developmental stage that seventh graders are in. Um, but sixth graders should remain at elementary, especially since we've just moved them there. Go ahead, Margie, do you have more? I'm trying to see anything that has not been said yet. Um, I like models um, three and four because middle school will have rigorous academic um, and credential aligned electives for students. And this is my last one team. I like model three because of the dual immersion program and continuing at the middle school. And this is my last one. This is not a, for a particular model, but our teachers overwhelmingly preferred models three and four, but feel that we should shorten the transition years to three instead of five or possibly six for full implementation uh, because the a five-year stretch of disruption to staffing as teachers leave one site and then also gain at another site is very difficult. Not to mention the kids. Margie, anything else? I um, like models three and four because our itinerant teachers, namely in the music program, will not have as um, difficult schedules as they currently have. And that's it. Team, anything else? Vamos terminados.
<laughs> Thank you. I appreciate that. <clears throat> Uh, first and foremost, uh, congratulations uh, and thank you uh, for sharing your insights, sharing um, your opinions, sharing your suggestions, uh, sharing your ideas, um, and, and sharing a piece of you uh, with us. Um, like I stated at the beginning, uh, there is no wrong LB LB tonight. Um, everyone's is entitled uh, to their opinion or their their way of of seeing of seeing things. Um, we have a, another another meeting uh, scheduled for I believe it's next Wednesday. Yep, next Wednesday. And so, uh, well, what we what we probably are going to start to to do um, is start thinking about uh, tonight. Uh, thinking about uh, the data of tonight um, and start maybe contemplating um, do, do, do we as a school reorganization team, um, do we start making decisions in terms of us, uh, the models? For example, this is not scientific data. We're going to make sure that we go back and, and, and really look at it. Uh, but just some first impressions, just based on tonight, just a, a quick, uh, some first impressions. Uh, first impressions uh, tonight, uh, secondary parents uh, from the LBL state, LBLB statements that were, um, that were, that were uh, shared tonight, uh, model three in, in that group, not the group as a whole, but the voices in that group, model three, uh, seem to be uh, the, the model uh, to gain more, uh, most uh, attraction. Um, for AEA, it was, it was close. So I would say it was too close. I would say that based on what we heard tonight, um, models three and four uh, are the models uh, that the AEA group, um, were, 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 were most of the, the positives came in those two groups. Uh, for CSEA, uh, that one was, AEA was clear also because they didn't have any LBLB in model ones or model twos, uh, but for CSEA, uh, model three as well, uh, that was the model uh, of those LBL, LBLB statements uh, that were uh, preferred. For elementary parents, um, just like secondary parents, Model three uh, seems like the, the, the most preferred or the strongest uh, model. Um, and then for administrators, uh, the administrative group, um, model three uh, also seemed to be uh, the preferred group, but they also had uh, quite a bit to say in terms of LBLB statements about model four. Uh, for the secondary parents and the elementary parents, um, the, the, there was a little bit on ter in terms of model one, two, and four. Uh, there was close calls uh, for the secondary parents, uh, but not as much as model three. Uh, for the elementary parents, model two, uh, not so much, uh, but model four and one, again, kind of right there, uh, but not as much as model three. These are only first impressions. This is not scientific data. This is just me uh, kind of just summarizing uh, what I think I heard. Uh, but again, we're going to have to go back and, and, and talk and discuss. So for instance, when we come back next, uh, next time, again, these conversations about, well, based on what we heard, do we start focusing our attention on models three and four? Right, like, do we start honing in on on that and start thinking about the buts? Uh, but uh, one one but that I heard a lot to, tonight was uh, but seven twelve, not six twelve, right? As an example, right? As an example, um, so you know to start having conversations uh, around around that. Um, we we have been keeping our board of education uh, updated on what is happening. 
uh, with the school reorganization team. And so uh, they will continue to be uh, updated. Uh, as of right now, uh, they have not voiced into uh, what is happening. They have been listeners, uh, just like uh, we have been listeners to you uh, tonight as well. So once again, I appreciate uh, your feedback. I appreciate uh, your comments. Um, again, it helps us as a team uh, to start thinking about next steps and formulating next steps. The idea here is, um, is again, to try and, and, and get to um, some ideas of where, what, what we want to report uh, to the Board of Education. Um, so I look forward to uh, seeing you uh, next week. I just want to thank uh, Latasha, uh, Jorge, uh, and Dana uh, for, again, their input and their collaboration. Uh, I want to thank all of you for your input. And I want to do a special thank you to Sam, who is driving our Zoom uh, tonight. And of course, to Melissa, who's doing an amazing job. Uh, I'm sorry, to Michelle, who's doing an amazing job uh, with the translation. So thank you, everyone. Have an awesome good night. Uh, we will see you, if not before, uh, next weekend, next week. Thank you.